Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. And my day of reckoning has maybe come. Do you remember back in January? Meekum, Las Vegas, I was permitted in the basement, blindly bidding on stuff, thinking I did really good. Well, we're here. five bikes that I've never seen before. You'll get to see it with me for the first time. I don't even remember what I got. All right. The Benelli 250 four cylinder. I think that's the smallest four cylinder to grace a production motorcycle. Norton Twin Rotor Wankel. This was an Interpool converted to civilian form. And an 80 Katana 1100, I think. No, 1000. And this bike has is showing 746 miles. And a Trident. Trident with ray gun mufflers. I don't remember the paint being so sparkly originally, but maybe. And what's left? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah. The poor man's exotic. That's what we got coming. I'm gonna have to walk out and greet this one. It's a 58 aerial square four. paperwork too so it says then EC 3667 I'm not gonna refuse them or anything but I think if I can't find them because that's not the number that's on the engine right I think there's a number here but it's powder coated over I don't know how they verified a bin All right, so with that settled, first getting a first impression of this 58 aerial square four. Now a viewer might correct me, I'm speaking off the cuff, but I think, isn't 58 the last year for the aerial engined aerials before they went to the BSA engine aerials? Because BSA had bought aerial by this time these are always neat to see when they're apart because it's two cylinders in the back two cylinders in the front and they alternate and to me when you see it with a head off it looks like popcorn popping this is supposed to be a runner I knew the seller Wow, almost looks like an SU carburetor or something. I have no idea what that is. A regular distributor. Reupholstered seat. The 
something's weird here about the battery box. It was not installed on the bike. It was sitting on the back. And to be truthful, I don't even know if it's six volt or 12 volt. I'm not too upset about the patina. I could do a nice job on the tank and fenders and maybe buff out the rest. Not sure what I'm gonna do there. First year, Triumph tried it. Now I like the BSAs better. The motors are slightly different in BSA. The cylinders are canted forward. But I prefer, the, I prefer the color of the Trident. And this is very clean, not overly restored. Swedish sticker. As you know, I can't verify the VIN, and that might be a problem. One thing Meekum didn't tell me, they said the bike had a title, but they didn't say it was a Swedish title. So really, it doesn't have a lawfully recognized US title. And they should say foreign title. They shouldn't imply that it has a transferable US title. So between that and the question of the VIN, oh, and whatever that toggle is, might be a little bit of trouble. We'll see. Benelli, 254 cylinder. I'm questioning those turn signals. I would have thought they'd be CEV turn signals. Ooh, it's got Italian in the switch gear. Look at that. So kilometers per hour. So that's kilometers. So it's even like 0.6 of that in mileage. If my math is correct. No front turns. I don't know if these, yeah, these are electric start. But I can't read Italian. Off. I. Uh, Oh, that's the key. I'm so confused. And a Norton Wankel. Twin rotor. Are these air cooled or water cooled? Judging by the fins, I'm thinking it's air cooled. That almost looks like what's on a Suzuki. The switch gear almost reminds me of Honda. Same front brake, so I was on my Van Veen. Check for running video. So we are gonna see if that one will still light up or if the battery's not dead. And this can of tuna. Looks like it was last run in 86, I bet. But that is really clean other than the stain on the seat.
When these came out, we thought they were ugly. So looking at the aerial, the battery box was off and sitting here on the trunk. But really what this battery box is, is it's a fake battery. This would have had a hard rubber battery with the lid. It looked something like this. Now this is not the right size, but this is a new old stock battery, six volt for some early bike. And what they did is they made or purchased a fake battery box and then shoved a little sealed battery in there with connectors so that you can fire it up. That's not bad. That's just for aesthetics on a driver. So maybe this will be the one we'll get running. Don't know. Now going to this beautiful Triumph. Doesn't have a key. And the ignition switch is not hooked up. I don't know what that toggle switch is on that side, but I'm getting more disappointed in this. Electronic ignition. These wires in the harness, not attached, but they do say what they are. I can't read them at the moment. This looks unfinished. Don't know the story on that. And it has a Swedish title. The Benelli? Well, you never buy a Benelli, especially a De Tomaso Benelli, and expect it to run. So, I don't expect anything from that. I expect pain from that. And this we knew wasn't going to run because it's got 750 miles on it. I'm pleased with the way it looks. I'm pleased that it has a key. I'm kind of excited by that one. I'm gonna try to get one of these started before I end this video. So while the Norton's charging, we're gonna go for the aerial. And what I first had to figure out is, I think it's positive ground. 99.9% .9 sure, but you never know if they changed it. So now we look for smoke. No smoke. Does this have a horn anywhere? Let's see if I get something, anything. At only two position. There's lights. So I got something. And no smoke. that's a good thing okay I got gas at least one plunger working oh look at that the wires hanging out man this is not looking good never had one of these whoa that feels different Wow.
that smoke's gonna clear up. If it's wet up. If it's coming out of both. Definitely coming out of one side. Halfway, maybe? Well, we're going to try to jump it. Just because I want to. This is kind of weird, huh? Some gross looking crap is going through there. Now that is an SU carburetor. Two SU carburetors. Starter solenoid. 